Let's take a look at how a refresh operation works within Delphix. We'll use this virtual Oracle database copy that we created previously. As time passes, new data is created in the production environment, which means that we want to refresh the testing environment so it has the latest information from production. In order to represent new data being added to the production environment, let's add another employee to our sample HR application. Once I add the employee, we'll see there are now 10 rows of employees instead of nine. Delphix will automatically capture this new information from the production environment. When I go back to the Delphix interface, I can bring the latest information from production into my testing environment by clicking the Refresh button. In the background, Delphix is capturing a snapshot of the production database files and applying those to the testing environment. Delphix also captures a snapshot of any Oracle transaction logs to make sure all points in time are represented. Now that the job is finished, we can see the refresh operation represented by the circular arrow on our timeline. We can also see the restore operation and the bookmark which we created earlier. When we return to the testing environment, we see that the new employee record which we created earlier in the production environment has in fact been added. This is exactly the same refresh process even for a database that's several terabytes in size. With Delphix, it's a very different way of doing things. And even with an incredibly complicated database, the process is incredibly fast and easy.